Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to add uh, languages to the lean localization. Uh, languages that, that have special characters like uh, Myanmar. So as you can see right here, hopefully I didn't butcher the name or didn't say it wrong. So it's down here, it's Myanmar. And now uh, let's just get started. So first of all, let's add our lean localization. So another thing I, I don't think I mentioned, you could right click and go here to lean click link localization and it adds the manager for you now we're gonna add we're gonna add languages we're gonna add two languages we're gonna add English just to test this out and then we're gonna add another one and this one we're gonna name it Myanmar so there's Myanmar and then after that we'll just close it we're gonna add a translation called hi everybody so right here for the translation this is just like a keyword uh, so you could remember it, so you can name this whatever you want. I could even name it like, let's say introduction, just to show you. I'm gonna add it. Now since I only added English and Myanmar, there's only gonna be two slots right here. But if I add more, let's say I added uh, Spanish. Now when I go back, there's gonna be three slots, as you can see. Now I'm gonna erase this real quick because I don't need the Spanish one. Now with these two, I'm gonna hit create. And I'm gonna go to I'm gonna click hi or I'm gonna type in hi everybody now for here I don't know how to spell in Myanmar so I'm gonna go to Google real quick and uh, hopefully they give me the right translation so I'm just gonna copy this I'm gonna put uh, hi everybody in Myanmar and then it's this hopefully so I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it now you could probably see that it doesn't show anything so since it doesn't show anything okay I paste it now when I go to this title where you're gonna have to do so in case you can't add a certain um, certain characters to go with your language what you could do is you could download it so I already downloaded uh, this one right here but I'll show you how to do it real quick so what I did is I just put Myanmar letters dot tf or .ttf download and it brought me to this and I just clicked on the free fonts family now if you guys are going to use this website just make sure you guys either go to the, the privacy policy or the about us and make sure that this is completely 100% free now you're, you're gonna go here to this website and you're gonna scroll down to Myanmar font free download you're gonna click download font right here now when you click download font it's gonna give you this folder a zipped folder now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna extract all so just click to extract all and then extract it to wherever you want so just to show you extract it's gonna open up this window make sure you have this window and not your extracted one and then all you got to do is drag in the the font to unity and you could put it anywhere you want you could have a folder that says fonts I'll just put it in here in my assets and as you can see now I got two of them now I'm gonna delete this one just so you guys could see the one I downloaded right now so you guys can see it's working so now with this one I'm gonna go to the title text and I'm just gonna drag this into the font uh, slot right here and as you can see it says hi everybody like uh, it's supposed to in English now if I go to current language hit play okay so before we actually hit play I forgot to add our lean localization text to our title text so make sure if you guys want to uh, you know um, translate any language make sure you add this lean localization it's called lean localize oh, lean localized text so once you click this lean localized text you're gonna look for your your keyword so my keyword was introduction as you can see right here so introduction now we'll go back now when I change uh, to Myanmar as you can see it changed right here as well so now I could actually switch between English and uh, Myanmar and it works and uh, I'll show you how to add one more just so you guys could see it now I don't know how you guys could fix it because right here as you can see it looks blank but as you can see it works so just keep that in mind if it looks blank just test it out and it might be working even though uh, it doesn't show so now let's add a new translation and we're gonna I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put thanks 
and I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna hit create on both of them I'm gonna put thanks to all my subscribers I appreciate I appreciate the support so now I'm just gonna copy this and paste it into uh, Google and hopefully it translates it correctly so hopefully that's the right way I'm just gonna copy all this just copy all that and then I'll go back and I'll paste it. Now, as I said, it doesn't show. So what we're gonna have to do is just test it out. So what I'm gonna do is just duplicate this one and just drag it down probably right here and drag this one up a little bit, drag this one like that and probably make it a little smaller and we'll add this, thanks. And as you can see, it just works. So now if I switch it, now, if it doesn't switch right away, you could either give it a minute. Sometimes you just got to switch between the tabs, um, as you can see. And there is sometimes that you would actually have to hit play. So, uh, as you can see, just click on these buttons. It looks like this button kind of resets it. So, click on the resolution size of your screen. And it should change your uh, fonts, as you can see. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, this video I actually made for one of my subscribers or one of my viewers. Hopefully this helps. If it didn't help, just let me know in the comments below. I'll keep on trying to help as much as I can. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you guys uh, want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And also uh, hit that bell notification if you want to get notified as soon as I post these videos. Once again, thank you.